What I've got with me today is a brand new version of the Motion Computing F5V. Now, the Motion Computing F5V is a ruggedized field tablet. So it's a tablet that's designed specifically for people who work outdoors and in rough environments. So let's take a look at the F5V's new capacitive multi-touch screen to see what's so good about it. Regular viewers will know that I'm a huge fan of this Wacom Active Digitizer pen that's both proximity sensitive, so that means it works without me touching the screen, and it's also pressure sensitive. But as brilliant as the Wacom pen is, the problem with it is that I always have to get it out to use it. Whereas with touch, we've got the convenience of using our fingertip. Now just a point here, a lot of other rugged tablets use resistive touchscreen technology. Now the problem with resistive touchscreens is that they're not particularly responsive, you have to press hard to make them work, they're subject to wear and tear, and generally they're not very good, they're a bit old school. On the other hand, the F5V's capacitive touchscreen, it's fingertip touch and it's multi-touch too. So we can pinch zoom and do all those sorts of things that you would do on your phone or your tablet these days. As you can see there, it's very responsive, it's very easy to do, it's a nice lightweight touch. Now, of course, Windows 7 has a whole bunch of multi-touch gestures that we can use, such as the double tap to right click function there that we have that's built into the operating system. We've also got things such as the, the flick system that's built into Windows 7, where I can just simply swipe my finger across the screen to do things like copy and paste. Browsing is very easy with touch too, and it's very convenient. We can uh, zoom in on web pages, and uh, Internet Explorer 9 doesn't do a particularly good job of that. But uh, we can zoom in on elements, we can zoom out, and we can also scroll through pages with our fingertip. Very nice and easy. And of course, if your application is very specifically designed for touch, then that's an added bonus for you too. So really what you have with touch is just that level of convenience that you don't get with the pen. Now for most editing tasks what you'll find is that the pen really is the tool that you'll want to use. But of course what touch gives us the ability to do as well is to type on the screen using our fingertips. And we can resize the standard Windows keyboard to suit your fingertip sizes. So uh, that'll make it easy for you. You can have it as big or as small as you want it to be. And you can just type away. If you want to get clever, you can touch type. So motion Motion computing have two technologies that they use to achieve the best possible brightness and viewing both outdoors and indoors. Um, both of these units have the Hydus AFFS Plus display. That's a very high quality wide viewing angle display that's made by a company called BOE Hydus. Uh, the AFFS Plus stands for Advanced Fringe Field Switching and what it essentially means is that you get a very wide viewing angle on the tablet so that you can see there you can read that at any angle. Now both of the tablets have that BOE Hydus display. They both have the super tough Gorilla Glass made by Corning that gives them a very strong resistance to breaking and also they are very scratch resistant too thanks to that Gorilla Glass. Now the other technology that Motion have is called View Anywhere. Now currently View Anywhere only goes onto the non-touch version of the tablet and you'll see the difference in these two screens here. The touch version currently doesn't have View Anywhere. It may do in future, um, so keep an eye out for that one. The thing is that currently not having View Anywhere means that the non-touch version is still much better to view outside. Now what View Anywhere is, is a uh, a treatment that goes onto the glass that diffuses light and gives a much better pass through of light and return of light so that uh, so that you can get the best out of that reflectivity on the highest display. You'll also see that it's a much clearer glass. So for example if I turn both of the tablets off now you can see that this screen here has a, a sort of an opaqueness about it 
whereas the view anywhere treated display here has a much deeper black about it and you can see the difference between the two sheets of glass there so so currently my recommendation would be that if you're working outdoors and you don't really need touch you would still go for the non-touch version because it is a much clearer glass and it does work better outside this display is still viewable outside but you really need to look at the screen straight on whereas this display here you can see at any angle even in full sunlight. So there you have it. The Motion Computing F5V now has both the Wacom Active Digitizer Pen, which is a fantastic method of input, and also that nice lightweight capacitive multi-touch. It's super responsive. And really, now with the F5V, you get the best of both worlds in an amazing ruggedized tablet.